Palm Springs residents are learning more about plans for a College of the Desert West Valley campus. Just yesterday, the city filed a lawsuit against the school accusing them of failing to release requested public documents and also reducing the size of that planned campus. News Channel 3's Samantha Lomibau was at tonight's meeting and has more on the progress. At 7 p.m. Residents gathered in northern Palm Springs on Tuesday night, where the Desert Highland Gateway Estates Community Action Association held the discussion. And I've never heard College of the Desert talk as practically as you are now. A hot topic, the long-awaited College of the Desert West Valley campus. The city filed a lawsuit against the college on Monday regarding planning records and a smaller campus size than what was originally envisioned. Scott Nevins, a Palm Springs resident who's running for city council, believes there's no excuse for the delay. Like children who are in school who are maybe in seventh or eighth grade now will possibly get a chance to go to a campus here in Palm Springs. But for years, the opportunity has been lost and it's disgraceful. He explained that millions of taxpayer dollars have gone into the development of the West Valley campus and believes that it needs to be built the way residents voted for years ago. It's another bait and switch by the College of the Desert, right? You know, it's now it's a smaller scale and it's not the, the training uh, hotel that we thought it was going to be. No, the voters approved the money years ago and then approved it again. And so we should be getting what we deserve. And that's what I will fight for. Is West Valley going to get a campus? Yes. Has West Valley always going to get a campus? Yes. Have we ever said we're not going to build West Valley? No. On the other hand, member of the Board of Trustees, B. Gonzalez, told me it's a project COD has valued for years. I'm looking forward to breaking ground um, on that project. She told me it's a misconception that the funding is solely for the West Valley campus. This bond was for the entire Coachella Valley. It was not ever meant, you know, for 60 percent, almost a billion dollars, specifically located to one place. So, you know, that's the other thing. So again, it's not that, you know, we don't want to build a campus or we don't care about the needs. No, that's not it. Gonzalez is telling me there's more to the plans than what meets the eye. I don't know. I don't know the difference between what we're doing now, which I know is we've added more information than has ever been added to an agenda. So it, obviously they have their agenda. So, you know, there's not a whole lot we can do about that. The COD Board of Trustees will discuss the campus's progress on Thursday. In Palm Springs, Samantha Lomibau, News Channel 3. You can find the full lawsuit and COD's full response at KESQ.com.